good throw, Brett. We're at the Cahill Judo Academy in San Bruno. Brett Barron is only 19 years old, yet he's the number one ranking judo champ in the United States. Brett is also the one person who could bring back a U.S. Olympic gold medal in judo at the 1980 Olympics. At 19, Brett Barron has over 40 trophies to his name. He started judo at 10, went on to win the Junior Nationals at 16. At 17, he took first place at the Pan Am Games, and at 18, became the U.S. National Champ in Colorado Springs. His next goal, Olympic gold in Moscow in 1980. Sharing his Olympic dream is his coach, Willie Cahill. Cahill, a fourth degree black belt, says Brett is the best student he's ever had. And considering he's coached 160 national junior champions and over 5,000 judo students, Cahill is serious with his praise for Brett. It was nine years ago that Brett walked into Cahill's judo studio, or dojo as it is called. His father felt Brett needed an outlet to channel his energies. In the years since, Coach Cahill has literally seen Brett grow up into a champion. Okay. Okay, do the same thing. Don't move away. It's after about six months of trainings, I knew he would be a champion. The reason, when Brett came in, he was in a, in a position where he had a lot of kids that were national champions already. And he fit right in that group, and he held his own. And right there, after about six months, I told his father that he would someday win the nationals. And I think that year, he placed second in the United States, and that was in San Francisco. He didn't tell me. He told other people who were training in the gym at that time, the coaches, uh, and my father. He uh, never really explained to me that he felt, hey, this is it. You're going you're gonna to do it. Uh, I felt comfortable, though. You know, he, he had a lot, of, a lot of hope for me. And he said, you know, don't get psyched, and you can do it. I had a lot of kids that became national champions right away, but it was too easy for me. It didn't, didn't last. Like Brett, he had, uh, he's done real well, but there was a period where he didn't win at all. But then he came back a couple years later and, then, and he's done it, and right now he's one of the best in the country. Great. To say what makes a champion is it's really difficult to say. It's a lot of different things. It, most of all, it's the personality, the person himself. Coaching is one thing, but the people, the student has to be motivated in some way. The hard part for me is getting in the gym. Once I get in and get a sweat, I'm fine. A lot of coaches, uh, and other dojos are very strict. You come into judo and you take your bows, you know, no laughing and, you know, just strictly judo. Myself, I, I couldn't do judo like that. I, I, you know, I like to enjoy doing it. And if, if you're not enjoying what you do, you, it's, it's no good. It's, you, you lose interest. That's where, the, that's where you really need it, is the coaching. If you've got a good coach there, you're bound to do it. Someone else who has supported Brett through the years, mostly financially, is his father, George Barron. Well, it's tough. It's up to him now. He's a big boy, and if he, if he wants to go to the Olympics, it's, it's up to him. When he was littler and younger, I could more or less direct him and have a lot of control over him now. He's, uh, he, it's up to him. If he wants to go ahead, he can. If he doesn't, why well, he doesn't have to. How do you feel about it, though? No, well, obviously, I want him to go. <laughs> and win. And win. Although judo is a self-defense martial art, in competition it is a sport. To win a match, one must get the opponent flat on his back and hold him for 30 seconds. Brett and his partner Shig demonstrate as Willie explains to me okay, the techniques. Brett, a, a throwing technique. Oh. This would be a full point. That would be considered a pwn. Now there's different scores in judo. Going to a wasadi, like a half a point, it's not completely on his back, but knocking a person down. Then grassy into yukos and kokas. Kokas is the lowest score in judo. It's also a throwing technique, or it could be a pin. Knock him down slowly. Right there. Okay, now there's different ways of winning a match. Do a throw right into a pin. Knocking a person down on his back, you go right into a pin, which you hold on for 30 seconds. But if there was a score of wasadi or half a point, the pin would last 25 seconds. Another way of winning the match is a standing choke. Just reaching in, crossing his hands, and standing and applying a choking technique. This would be a sacrifice choke. 
Because if he did that and missed, Shig on the top would just land right on top of the on top of Brett and go into a pin. So he's really taking a chance when he does a choke like that. Another choke is when Shig going into a throwing technique, which you call Sianagi, Brett would drop back and I'll apply the choke. Another way to win a match is an arm bar. A standing arm bar, the opponent reaches in, Brett will grab the wrist and apply the bar, breaking it at the elbow. Maybe you can do it switching around. Now watch this, Shig will reach out and put a grab. As he grabs, turns, applies the bar in back of his arm. Another arm bar would be from a throwing technique. Brett will knock the person down, drop right down in the arm bar. So now can you throw Brett? <laughs> you taught him. <laughs> yeah, I can throw him, but as far as competition is concerned, no, it's impossible. I'm not saying impossible that I can throw him, but just like Muhammad Ali, I don't think his manager can beat Muhammad Ali. So it's the same thing, you know, you, you're trying to coach a, coach a player to be better than you and to be the best. And if I can steal Brett, beat Brett, that's something wrong. He's not that good yet. To be the best in any sport, it goes without saying that hard work, dedication, and sacrifice are all part of the training. And the training, says 19-year-old Brett Barron, is what he hopes will bring him a gold medal for the 1980 Moscow Olympics.